Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Wargroove. In the last episode, we made our way into the Florin Woods, or whatever it's called around here, and we got our butts kicked, but we were able to survive it, D rank or otherwise, which I'm happy to say. And now we have two more missions we could get to. We either could do the side mission or the mission two. I figure we'll check out the side mission in the Gloom Woods even farther. Canine Justice, alone in the woods, Caesar finds some villages in need of aid. Ooh, this sounds like it'll be fun. So yeah, if you didn't know, Caesar is actually commander in this game, and I guess we'll be able to play as him. Help, hound laws! Hand over your valuables and no one will get hurt. Not unless Caesar's in the mechs. <laughs> Never fear, Caesar's here. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> be off with you. Can't an outlaw make a dishonest living in these woods without being hounded by armored beasties? You don't intimidate me. He intimidates me. Yeah, and me. Just get this villager back to the camp and lock him up, will ya? Oh my. Go at him, Caesar, save the day! What a cool little armored pup. Ah, oh, that's so cool, he looks so dignified. Ruff. Wow, the commander brought us to a tumbled down forest. Interesting, we better explore. Arf. <laughs> no, none of them realize. So our new objective, of course, is to defeat the outlaws. So let's take a look at our mission. Actually, what? Mission, codex, options, controllers. That's more options than anything else. You just defeat all the outlaws. Interesting map, for sure. Uh, but we'll go at it. <laughs> we just sort of barge our way in, I suppose. Um, the only problem right now, I guess we have to make do with what we have. Because this door has 25% health. Who can do the most to it? Caesar can, of course, so boom. Good job, Caesar. And we got one soldier over this way, which we could probably do a lot of damage to if we do this correctly. Um, Because I could actually get, ooh, not as far as I actually had hoped. Um, We'll have you wait here, and then have this guy wait there. Sort of guard the doors a little bit. The archer, we could actually attack from here. Doesn't make any sense, they're indoors. I mean, maybe they're just like walls and they're not, there's not a ceiling, it's like a fortress, gotcha. Okay, that's a pretty good start then. Um, Cause I could have the dogs not quite finish them off. And I might have this dog wait here, sort of get some vision. Oh no, there's more dogs over here. Okay, that makes things a bit more complicated. Uh, but for right now, go ahead and I guess do this. See what ends up happening. That way if they attack next turn, we'll have a good advantage. Um. So, turn one for the outlaws. And he's gonna go in and try to attack us, which is a big no now. Oh, look at us! Wait, do, do we not attack? Oh. There we go, he's blushing. That's adorable. All right, so, uh, don't, a don't attack our pups. The problem here is that Okay, this, these guys should get taken out though. Um, I don't know if we have any way to get extra troops. So that could be a big problem moving forward. All right, so what do I wanna do here? Probably take these guys out without taking any damage would be amazing. Oh, look at him! Oh, everybody loves Caesar. Look at him do his little belly rub on his back. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so we can't quite make him attack from here. But we could, I mean, we could just do it from here and that would actually be a fair amount of damage, so that's good. Uh, enough to take him down, too. Got it. This lack of vision is definitely getting to be a bit of a tough situation. I'm gonna move them a couple paces forward and, you know, just yeah, see what they end up getting at. Trying to move them in a formation so that if one gets attacked, the other one can move adjacent to the target. There we go, and move this javelin dude right behind him. So we're still slowly making our way in. Turn two. And I had a feeling you'd do that. We'll try our best to survive this one though. No, that took out all of them. We need to see what these guys can do actually. And what their vulnerabilities might be. Whew. Okay, take a look at this again. They're effective against dogs, but they are weak against Caesar and they're weak against archers. Yeah, the javelin guys are always the toughest. Um, so what we're gotta do is move this guy farther ahead, but that's gonna be not easy. So I, okay, this guy can't attack, but what he could do is that, so that this guy can come in and land a critical, 
and attack this guy. 72% sounds great to me. But every time we attack like this, we're losing some troops, which is a big deal, a big problem. So I need Caesar to move out as far as he can. And then we can move this guy, who has like the lowest movement range, so it can be a bit of a problem. And then maybe you could finish him off? You can, without taking any damage, which is good. The only problem now is that we're at a bit of a risk of more Javelin guys walking up and taking care of these troops as well. Um, and that's sort of where the big risk of the Fog of War comes in. We learned about it last episode. And here it goes again. Ooh, I don't like it, but... Ah, no, we're down the one pup. That is not good. Because at this rate, things are getting nasty. We still have a lot more to explore here. Not entirely sure how we could really properly do this. But for right now, I could attack these guys from here and do 53% damage without taking anything. And that's good. I mean, how awesome is Caesar? Just charging into the face of danger. So he wants to save people. All right, then I'll move these guys here. They've taken a little bit of damage, so they're ever so slightly weaker. But I can now move you here and do some extra damage to finish you off, which will be amazing. Protect the pups for as long as possible. And with that done, I mean, I can move Caesar a little bit farther ahead, and I think I'll do that because he's the commander. Sometimes he's just gotta be out in front. Because if I overview, defeat all of the outlaws is our main objective. I don't know how many are left is the big issue here. There's one right here, and he's actually gonna go for the Javelin guys, which stinks because they have a specific advantage over that. Hmm. But what are the archers weak against? Uh, Caesar, you're, you're glowing. <laughs> oh, his groove must be fully charged. He looks so inspiring. Inspiring is right, Caesar's groove inspires the Jason spent units uh, to have a second go. Whoa, that's a really good one too. Why are we down here? I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I sort of wanna, can I get like more info on that? Codex. Uh, yeah, Inspire Sarge. Caesar's Inspire is great for pushing an attack. The groove works particularly well in conjunction with siege units, following them uh, and move, or allowing them to move and attack in the same turn. That's really good. So if we want, let's first I'll take, take a look at this guy's weakness. Um, he's weak to Caesar, of course. He's also weak to knights and dogs. So we really don't have too much more of an advantage we can take on him. Like, I mean, the javelin guys aren't gonna do much to him. I'm gonna move the archer here. This would be a one hit takedown though, which would be great. If that's the case though, I might wanna, oh, that's tough. That's real tough. Trying to think of how we could work this out. No, this should be fine actually. I mean, maybe. It's not the best situation ever, but. I mean, right here we can take them out in one hit, so they shouldn't even be able to do anything, and that's always great. Good job, Caesar and friends. Because I wanted him to attack this door. Maybe it'd be smarter to make the move over to this one. So, like, if I make you wait here, I make him wait there, and then make you wait over this way. Oh, but you've already used your move. I forgot. Because there's some there's some villagers trapped here. Maybe we can get them out now. Maybe we won't have to destroy all the outlaws. None of them, none of the other ones seem to be aware at the moment. So what I can do is attack this for 100%. Is there any guards in here? Ooh, prisoners! Ooh, Commander Caesar has inspired them to fight. Yep. Oh, really? Oh, that's amazing. Woof, woof. Okay, Caesar's still agitated. There must be more prisoners that need our help. So let's go ahead and start moving these guys up. This is a huge help. Go ahead and get this guy here, and then I don't know if this guy can really move too far now. No, he can still move here. Excellent. We have this whole troop going on. I wanna have this guy move a little bit farther. Attack this door. Uh, this door likely leads to the main hall. Right, and who knows what's inside. Probably better to free all the prisoners before we head in there. Okay. And we'll move these guys a little bit farther ahead. 
And now this is getting a whole lot more interesting. I like it. Trying to try to get these dogs protected. Okay. So turn six for these guys. Will there even be anybody? Okay, there's these guys coming in, the archers, which does make this a bit complicated. Um, I will move you guys out like this. I might as well have you guys attack. I mean, they will attack back is the problem. I mean, no matter what though, they're gonna attack back. Huh, okay. I'm gonna have these guys move here. Uh, ooh. I don't think that counts as adjacent, unfortunately. My best bet is right here. This would do three, the other, well, it would do two. The other one is also gonna do two. Um, and then inspire. Okay, well, we try it. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't inspire the door. I love that. Um, so, uh, cause like I could have the dogs attack him, but it would end up taking them out as well. These guys are a little low. So it might just be good to, can these guys reach? They can't, man, that stinks. It's just sort of an awkward situation, an awkward position. Because this is carpet, decorative tile that's functionally the same as flagstone, which flagstone also gives. Uh, accessible to ro uh, those on foot or horseback, but no one else. What are you talking about? Accessible, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Sort of weird when you think about it. That's a lot more than I was expecting over here. Okay, bit of a problem. I'm gonna move you like this. Uh, let's do that. And then do this. Ooh, this is tough. And then I guess it's still my best bet to move this ranger, have him attack. Even if it does some damage back. They're just gonna do that. We're still doing more damage to them than they are doing to us. But there's definitely some guys on the top there that we can get. So as long as we can make our way there. See, these missions really do take a while. And then of course you're gonna finish off the rangers, which is not helpful, because I was our only ranger. Uh, and then you're gonna attack that troop. Well, this should be fairly even, yeah? I mean, I guess they attacked first, so they usually get a damage advantage for that. Okay, so for this guy, of course, we know the weaknesses, but for these soldiers, they're only effective against archers. <laughs> Beyond that, everybody is good against them. So that's good. So what I'd like to do here, actually, it would be great to do this because it would make that soldier do some extra damage. And that's nice. So go ahead and do that. He's down to 1%. This guy can finish this dude off. All right. And then, can you move out to here? You could. I'm trying to think about all this. Uh, could have these guys get finished off without too much of an issue. That'd be good. And then over, like I said, I wanna move you here. Maybe I could have moved him somewhere better than that. Attack like this and do 51% damage. And there's the door up that way. Hey, hey! And they're gonna attack back a little bit. It doesn't hurt too much. Once again, the soldiers aren't really the strongest when it comes to that. Okay, so that should be everybody. They're gonna move a little bit. Turn eight now. No, not the doggies. Oh, hey, hey. uh, oh no, not enough to take them out, actually, surprising. So we could have the dogs attack. It would not be a good idea. We have Caesar attack. That's enough to take these guys down, then we might as well do it. Hey, hey. And then I think we should have this javelin dude wait out this way, and then this one right on over, so they sell that critical percent. And there are some more enemies over that way. We'll move Caesar that way, and move you right there. Well, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I wanna keep the dog a little protected, because there's obviously more villagers over there. Get more criticals with the javelin guys would be great. That's all we can do for right now. These guys are obviously gonna move forward. But that's fine, because we're about to get more. Is that all they had? No, they have a dog as well. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. 
Oh, they did a lot there. Whole bunch. So, with that done, what are our options? We could do this for 102%, definitely taking that opportunity now. Have to, Got, get rid of one troop of them without even, no, one of them survived, it was 102%, what are you talking about? I guess maybe the armor. Okay, well these guys can finish them off then, hopefully, unless some shenanigans happens. <laughs> a dog versus a dog here. So once again, we should be able to, what was that? Mission, okay, thought it said medium. It's like, what does that mean? So only had 25% uh, health, so that should be good. Uh, our fire, brilliant, more prisoners free and up for a fight. That's good, and we get another archer, which is nice to see. Woof, 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 woof. Since there are still prisoners trapped in the fortress, we have to find them. So I could have this guy attack. Don't know how strategic that is at the moment. Now this guy attack, that's a little bit better. Because what is this guy weak to again? He's weak to archers, he's strong against them as well, but. We can keep our distance. Might not matter too much. And then move you forward a little bit. And then maybe we could shift this guy around like this. And see what we can get done with that. Well, there's still this guy who has not moved. All right, we'll do the 32% to him then. See how things end up going. Because we're starting to build up a bit more of a cavalry here, which is always good. Man, they did more damage to us than we did to them. I think. Maybe about equal. This is not an easy game. <laughs> so they're attacking back. We can't do much about it for now. But not too much happened that turn, which is a good advantage for us. We're 73% to building our next thing. So uh, if I could move him here, move Caesar, so that he is going to just finish this guy off. That's what I really want, it's a 62%, so if the armor doesn't play a factor, we'll have to wait and see. Oh my gosh, I love this. See, this is amazing, it does play a factor, darn it. I mean, obviously, they're gonna do next to nothing. Hmm. So, what do I wanna do about it? I might just have to have the dogs go at them. Which is a shame, because it might mean that the dogs get taken out next round. But so far, that map's looking pretty clear, so always good to see. There goes that guy, good stuff. I'm gonna keep moving these guys out for as long as possible. Try to sort of protect Caesar along the way. That's always good. This guy still has full health, and then his friend over here can follow suit, so we get some criticals maybe if we need it, and then the archer can go as far as he can. Okay, so that's everything we can do for this turn. We still have one more prison, it looks like, worth of guys to save. Hmm. If we get all the prisoners, could we just leave out the back door, I wonder? That'd be interesting. We should probably still try to go through that back door in the throne room. There's more than one entrance. Maybe that back door from the outside would be best. Anyways, I haven't been focusing too much on this when I really should have been. Yes, he would be good because now uh, this guy can do a critical and take him out. And then that soldier can move adjacent and then attack that uh, one dude. That'd be good. So like he can move here and then attack for 36, which actually is not as much as I was hoping. Hmm. It's our best bet really though. I mean, I could do this for 4%, not really all that helpful. Hmm. And yeah, if we want to damage to him, this 36 is the best we can ask for for now. All right. Like I said, not crazy, but it's something. Uh, the dogs could keep moving forward. I mean, I could have the dogs attack for 4%. That doesn't seem worth it. I'm trying to move the dogs back this way, I think. Something like that. And then Caesar could take them out next turn if they need to. And then move this guy out like that. All right, so let's see what we can get done with that. Ooh, Caesar's ability is here, which is nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, so the archers will actually go for the archers out of all characters here? Weird. Because they're gonna be able to attack back, of course. Ooh, really well, too. Oh, more dogs are coming up attacking Caesar. But Caesar's been able to heal up, so as long as this does less than 10%, we'll have to wait and see. Oh. 
That did more than 10%, but we did much more than 10% to them too. Okay, turn 13. So if we want to do some stuff here, first off, yeah, finish these guys off. Attack. So like I think our best bet here, because I don't know if Caesar can reach this door just yet. Oh, that's an enemy dog. I was like, why can't I move him? <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and attack that. That might be good. Just finish that off. And then. I don't know how much of a difference this will make. I'm gonna try it and we'll see what ends up happening. Is getting these guys out as far as we can. Like that. And then finally, I guess, with the, the pup. And then have Caesar. Hmm. I mean, we could move him like this. I know this won't be inspiring as many, but we need him to take a, you know, a wipe at that door next time too. So might be better. What about this soldier? He'd be able to do what? Three percent to it? That's not really too much. But he could attack this guy. Don't know if it'd be that helpful if it's only forty-five percent. Maybe he can just play defense like that, and we'll find out. I mean, they are definitely running out of troops and we're about to get a full restore. Ours are getting weaker and weaker as we go along here. Yeah, there goes those guys. This is where things get a bit scary. But I think we can make it work. All I gotta do now is get this guy across here. Do some uh, critical, which is great. Try that out. I mean, Caesar is at 94%, so he's healing up. By next turn, he should be good. And this last door right here. And that should be all of the villagers saved. Those were the last prisoners, we freed everyone. <laughs> now that everyone's free, we should enter the main hall and finish off these cutthroat outlaws. Okay. So I'll get this guy here. I'll move this guy over. Can't really do too much with these guys at the moment. They're in an awkward position. I still think I would like to attack from the bottom. I don't know if that's a good idea. And this is the amount of time it would take to move down there. Would be a bit consuming. Hmm. In the meantime, might as well get as many people as we can to attack this. Okay, so with that, get the dog to finish him off maybe? Dog can't really. And then what about this archer? Move him down so that he can attack and finish it off. There we go. That should be good. Come on, come on. Yeah, good job, good job. Turn 14. Oh, there's another dude down here. Darn, I did not expect that for some reason. This is still really tough, even with all these advantages we're taking. Oh, there's another one, really? Not necessary. Okay, just skip this a little bit. Oh, man. Okay, Caesar, you're gonna have to come down here. There's like, my own units are sort of blocking me here. Let's do 40% to it so that we can just sort of get rid of it for now. A little bit at the least. 53% damage sounds splendid, so I'm gonna work on that. Hmm, okay. And then maybe this archer could attack this guy as well, and that'd be enough to finish him off. Okay, so, could either of these guys get close enough? Not the moment. I'd like to keep as many units alive now as I possibly can for this last little altercation, I suppose. Doesn't seem like that's gonna work out very well. Hmm. Okay, let's just weaken them a little bit more. And only I can only hope that there isn't any more. And then the dog, which I'll just have wait. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're gonna attack the archer, which sticks. Okay, so, um, attack and get rid of this dude, for sure. So those guys are done, they're gone. I can have an archer actually work on this door and open it up to find out what's inside. That way, we, maybe we could, was that not enough? That was not enough, well that stinks. Um, cause I wanted to be able to have him move in and take it out. 
That only do 5%, that would do one. This would do 30, let's have him attack then. Open this room up a little bit more. The doors to the main hall are down! Uh oh, oh, this is different. Watch this! Morph! <laughs> a dog? Who let a dog in here? This is no way to run a professional outfit. We can't just have animals wandering in our camp. Oh, oh shut up, Fluffball. Oh, he messed with the wrong pup. That's it! Everyone get in here and help me fight this dog! <laughs> a little bit of an overreaction, don't you think? I mean, everybody else is already taken out, so that'll do you know. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to have some of these lower health units scout things out for us a little bit. Uh, and do this. Oh, okay, so I think it might only be these four. We'll have to wait and see. But that guy's a different helmet. Is he the commander? Oh, there's a knight. We still might lose this. So there goes those dogs as well. Ugh, we are really running out of numbers here. Like, I wish we could have just taken the guys and left. Hmm. He's a soldier. He's the cavalry. Well, yeah, the cavalry was the knight. Okay, never mind. He, the fog was hitting the helmets, making me think like one of these was like a special gold helmet dude or something. So what are the knights weak to? They're weak to the the, the javelin. So I really want these archers to attack. They can't really attack. Yeah, attack from a distance is what I want. It's not too much, unfortunately, but if it's the best I can get, it's the best I can do, do you know? Ooh, man. And then I wanna sorta of move these guys back this way, because I want them to be able to take on the knight, which is gonna be tough at first. Really tough at first. Um, And he still won't be able to attack this turn, but next turn he'll be able to do something. So this could be a huge mistake, but I might just have to brute force it from here on out. And then there's another soldier up there I didn't see. Gosh darn it. This is making this all problematic. Like a really big problem. Come on, come on. I know they're all gonna attack Caesar. It only makes sense. There's more! How? How do you do that? Okay. Come on. Really? I know, I, I know I'm skipping a lot of this, but I have to. He's down to two health, he needs to retreat. Now, like, that's really frustrating, because I did everything I could here. Um, That would do 11% to him, 15 to him, eight to him. Huh. Attack from here, 15%, we'll do that one. Because they can attack back at the least, and this guy can't attack from here. Hmm. But he can move, no, he can't move there and attack. He can move, who, here and attack? That seems like a bad idea. I'm trying to figure this out. I mean, I guess he could. Yeah, I have a bit of an idea that might be a bad idea, but we'll try this. Do 59% to this guy and take him out. I think that'd be great. And then move Hmm. Neither of these guys can even get in right now. So now what I'm gonna do, and this might be, once again, a bad idea, I'm gonna move Caesar here and inspire all four of them. What a tough mission. What an insanely tough mission. Can he attack any of them from where he is? No. This guy could move here and attack. 60% to him and 38 to him. That's, I mean, but he's not the commander, he's just a cavalry. So I'd still have to attack the rest of them, which is the crazy part. So I might as well work on this guy. Come on now. That damaged him, but now we can't see in there anymore. All right, well this is where we could take some good stuff, or get some good stuff going on. I could have this guy wait here, and then I mean, I know that Caesar still has a good chance of getting taken out, taken out, but at the least we can get rid of this dude. And let's see if that actually ends around. I don't think it will. Yeah. 
So the only thing we can do now is move the archer, but we can't really move him in any kind of way that would be helpful. So I think that we're just going to end the turn and hope, 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 hope that Caesar doesn't get taken out here. He's going to attack these guys, which does hurt a fair amount. Oh no. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Okay, he's down to 10. Okay. This seems to be the last four of them here. So I need to move Caesar back for one more turn unless I really wanna go risky and go in there and get a hit. I don't think I do. So I'm sorry, troops, but for right now, just work on this. Attack these guys and take him out would be great, but... Mm. He could take them out for us. That might be better. Okay, I think I have a plan here. It's gonna be a close one if we win this. It's gonna be really close. Oh, that's not gonna be enough to take them down. It will be enough to take this guy down. We need to eliminate as many units as possible within the range of time we have. Okay, so with that guy there, he hasn't attacked this dude yet, so go ahead and work on that. This is getting close. If there's no more guys after this, we could actually win, you know? And that's actually really cool. We'll have to wait and see. So let's see, do they have it? If, if there's more than these two rangers, we're done. And we may be done. It's another set of rangers? Oh no. Oh, we may be done. It's gonna be real close. I'm just trying to keep Caesar as healed up as possible for as long as time as possible. Because I can have him go in and do exactly the amount of damage he needs to actually take him out. This would do more damage. Hmm. All right, we're doing this. Might seem like a bad idea, and it may be. It's so hard to tell. But if these are really the last Rangers, then we win. I hope, <laughs> I think. 66%. Wait, why is it doing 66% from there? I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. And then Caesar, I might actually have you like run away a little bit. Like, maybe some movement will, Heal you up, I don't think so. Please let it just be that this ranger is the last dude. If it is, like I, I still think we could win. Because we have a health advantage here. So now we can just not move and do critical damage like this. Wait, why did he move though? I guess I did it wrong. Caesar can't reach him from here. And the turn then. If this is the last ranger, we just won. Oh, we just won! We just won! Look at this! Come on! Right? Yes, we did it with Caesar and one Ranger! That's all we got! Ugh! Should have known we couldn't take on such a majestic hound. <laughs> Is this all a dream sequence? Thank you so much! Oh. <laughs> there you are, Caesar! What are you doing in this old fort? Such a good boy. Aw, that is so cute. Victory in a D ranking, right? Oh, I skipped the bites. Oh, we got two stars though. Congratulations, you can now play as Caesar in Arcade. Congratulations, you unlocked additional lore about Caesar, which you know what? I think we're gonna spend the rest of today's episode learning about Caesar's lore because you know what? I love that. Um, a magnificent and majestic canine, Caesar leaves armies with wordless dignity. His mere presence is enough to inspire a guide and guide troops into battle. We haven't learned everything just yet. I think it'll be a lot of fun Complete Caesar's Arcade Run to unlock further entries. To read all these once I unlock them all? I don't know if there's ever gonna be like a completion thing. Like Valder, as you can see, has 12 pages of bio. I mean, maybe a lot of this we'll already know by the time it gets there. Hmm, okay. Well anyways, that was a lot of fun. Very tough for sure. As you can see, our star ranking has plummeted in a lot of this, but hopefully we can practice up and get better and learn more as we tackle the next act and mission, or mission act, whatever, uh, in the next episode. But yeah, for right now, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Wargroove. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Caesar, so they watch the end of the URA Zebra Tassi viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.